I have to start planning things better because I do things so spontaneously. Like I was just about to get dressed and I'm like, my outfit's kind of cute today. I should do a get ready with me. Today's Easter. I'm just wearing a t-shirt and jeans, some tennis shoes, but I think it's cute. I'm about to take this off real quick, spray another layer to make sure everything's in place. Then I'm gonna get in the shower and get dressed and I'll show you all my outfit for today. I have an elastic band on underneath this paper. I'm about to cut the paper off. So I personally, this is only my second time doing my glueless with just the got to be spray. Honestly, I do not like it because I don't be getting every single hair like clipped out the way, which to me, it's kind of unrealistic. So it like sticks these other hairs down and my baby hairs are so crusty. I think I would like a gel better. So right now I'm just trying to like loosen these baby hairs up a little bit so they don't look nasty when I try to style them again. That's disgusting. Okay, so I got all the hairs that I want out. I might cut these into some sideburns. I don't know. But right now I'm about to do my baby hairs just with some regular edge control. I use the Eben Eben. Let's chat for a little bit. Like I said, today is Easter. Typically, I would be at church, but um, it is coronavirus, and we are working towards a soft opening. So let me know what you guys are doing for Easter. Like, what do y'all usually do? You know, do y'all go to church? If y'all do, how is y'all's church doing this? If not, um, what are you and your family doing? Also, I'm not going to use edge control. I think I'm going to use this, which is like off-brand got to be, because um this might work really good with the spray i don't know try something new y'all i'm gonna use a little bit because this stuff be sticky too okay this is making it look really disgusting actually i'm going back to edge control i don't know i'm not a really big baby hair person this is really ugly let me try this on a different piece i don't, I don't really know oh that's so crusty okay you know what we don't need all these baby hair I, I don't know. That's just not cute. I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. We're not doing that. I'll be back. Okay, so this is what I came up with. It's not really that cute, but honestly, my hair is not going to be pinned back. It's probably going to be over my face anyway, so just give it a little something. So yeah, I think I'm about to start customizing my own wigs. I've been buying fully customized wigs, which are great, but I think... Like, I think I could do it and save myself a whole lot of money because I have a lot of wigs. So I could start saving myself money and just customizing it myself. Um, but I do shop with this girl from the city. She's so nice. And her wigs would be so cute. Like, she covers them really cute. She styles them really cute. Um, and her wigs are Brie J wigs. And she sends them fully customized and you can put it on glueless, glue with whatever. When do y'all wash y'all's wigs? I've got a lot of product in it because I put spray in it. And the actual hair so the crimps can stay and i done sprayed this hairline twice i guess i'm gonna wash this wig but i always wash mine before i put it on not after people like washers after and put it up but mine sits on a shelf so i just feel like it might get linty up there or dusty so i'll take a shower then we're gonna do like a real soft light makeup like probably just some powder and concealer and brow lashes not a full face we're not gonna do foundation today yeah no nah. mm, should i I don't think I'm feeling all that. So maybe just like powder and like I said, concealer. So we are gonna start out by just brushing my eyebrows like in the direction I want them to go. My eyebrows are by any, not by any means freshly done. I did them like three weeks ago. I tweezed my eyebrows, nothing major, nothing expensive. I use this little e.l.f. pack. Do you all conceal your eyebrows? Because when I first started doing my makeup or my brows period, I used to conceal them, but then I stopped because I feel like it did not make a difference. Two days ago when I did my makeup, I concealed it just to see if it did make a difference. And I actually felt like it did. And I was like, okay, well, I'm probably going to start concealing my brows again because they looked really, really good and clean. What products do you all use to do your eyebrows? I just follow my natural eyebrows. I'm only going to do one brow on here. I don't outline the top all the way to the front. Yeah, I don't can do all the way to the front just because my brows are pretty full and thick. Just put all my hairs back in place. Like I said, my eyebrows are not freshly done at all. I have a concealer I just got from the hair store. Whatever brand this is, I don't know. And it's in like the lightest color I could find. And I just line my brow. Oh, and there was a nozzle on here. I... I I don't know where it's at. I, I took it off a long time ago. 
And why I took it off, I can't tell you. I don't know. But I like it better without it. So I'll take a beauty blender right now. This is the pointy end. It has a little bit of concealer and foundation on already. And just kind of clean that up. I might, I'm going to try eyeshadow for today for y'all. Because I don't do eyeshadow. I don't know how to do this well. So that's one brow. Moving to the next one. My right eyebrow always looks so much better than my left one. Like when I tweeze them, when I fill them in. I don't know what's wrong with the left one. But anyways, now we're about to put some concealer on. And I put concealer on wherever I have any dark spots. And under my eyes because I have to be looking so tired, y'all. Then top it with a translucent powder. And I'm just going to blend everything out. This is my light makeup routine. Like if I'm not doing a full face. But anyway, this is the translucent powder I use. It's from Sephora. It has like a little bit of a little, a little color. But anyways, I shook it up down. I shook it upside down because it has holes. And it's going to bring some powder to the top. And I'm just gonna use now my powder sponge. It has a little different texture. It's kind of furry feeling. But I'm gonna put it under my eyes. Or my concealer. It's wherever the concealer was. So like my concealer won't get cakey and greasy looking. And it won't like start creasing and stuff. Um I'm not setting my eyebrows. But I already have the powder on. Hope I don't mess them up. <laughs> okay, that's not my brow at all. But go off. So I guess while that's sitting, I might try some eyeshadow. I lied to y'all. I don't want to wear eyeshadow. I just don't want to. I always buy palettes too, and I never use them. Like I'll, but I won't buy like the expensive ones. Like I'll go to the dollar store or the hair store and buy some. Like I'm gonna try when I'm feeling spontaneous. I'm gonna try some eyeshadow, y'all. I don't ever use it. Like I never do. Okay, I'm gonna try it. I lied. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try one eye with y'all. One. Okay. So like I said, I don't do eyeshadow. I just pick up two brushes out of my brush set so we're gonna be really basic and easy so if i mess it up it's not gonna be super ugly i'm gonna put this one in the inside of my eye this one on the outside and blend like that's what we're doing i just don't know i don't even know if y'all can see this but i see a little something if y'all do this put some comments you know below i did ask this one girl on twitter that i follow i mean instagram because she was like ask me some beauty questions because she does makeup in the city and she said, I think she said pick two colors, you know, and blend them. She said something else, but it kind of was a while ago, so I really don't remember. But she has a YouTube as well. She does makeup on there. Okay, and I'm going to take that same brush and just kind of blend it. Okay, did we do something? Did we do something? I don't know. Y'all, y'all know what I keep saying, and I need to stop saying that. I have been calling everybody a crackhead lately. If you do something that's really funny or really crazy, or you do something that's weird, like I'd be like, oh my gosh, like you're a crackhead. Like, what is wrong with you? I call everybody a crackhead. I need to stop. Like, what is wrong with me? Okay. Is this something? Maybe it's nothing. Now you don't have, like nothing on the camera. I thought I did something in the mirror. I'm gonna use a little lighter color. Maybe that'll help. I don't. Y'all, I sing a lot and I can't sing at all, so I'm really sorry. But I dipped in the wrong color. Whatever. I'm gonna put a little bit under my eyebrow too. Because that brown was kind of intense. So I got a black eye a little bit. And I'm weak because my mom can sing. And everybody always asks me, like, oh my gosh, can you sing like your mom? No, ma'am. I can't. Okay, you know what? This is something to me. Perk. Not gonna lie. I'm ghetto. I use hair glue. I did buy some lash glue a few months ago. I was like, I was changing. I was changing. And then I broke the nozzle like a few weeks later and I said, I'm going back to my hair glue. That's a dollar. Like, stop playing with me. By all means though, buy that lash glue. Okay? Because I'm not gonna make possible for your eye being messed up. But am I gonna risk my eye? I am. But I ain't tell y'all that though. You feel me? And I usually wear dramatic lashes, but I'm wearing some really simple ones. They're really cute. I wore these also to the 90s party. And it just came from like this little pack my mom bought me. She always bought me a pack of lashes, cause which is really handy. Cause I always I buy like really ghetto lashes. I like the big twenty five millimeters, but sometimes like that's just not necessary. And I'll be looking like a spider sometimes. Like I took it off the other day. Like I had them on. I was like these are not hitting today. Just buy lash glue. Don't be like me. Buy lash glue. Do y'all put y'all's lashes on with? Uh, tweezers or y'all's fingers? Cause I use tweezers. People are like fingers are so easy. I can't do tweezers. Tweezers are perfect because I can like place it exactly where I want it and get the corners with the tweezers. So once my glue is on here, I try to like let it dry a little bit so it can be tacky. I'm going to pull it just for the sake of y'all real quick. 
Well, okay, maybe not. You just get it as close to that line as possible. I start with the middle first, then go to the corner, inside corner, then go to the outside corner. I don't know how y'all do fingers. I did fingers. Ooh, why do I say that? But I did my fingers one time I didn't have tweezers. And I was proud of myself. I thought that was the Olympics. I'm telling y'all, I know how y'all do that on the natural, on the regular. And there we have it. We might have did a look with that eyeshadow, y'all. Quit playing. Am I a beauty guru? Ha! Leave me some makeup tips, y'all. I don't, or at least eyeshadow. Makeup tips, period. Something you think I could change, something that y'all do, that y'all find easier than what I did in this video. Abby, if you're watching, let me know. My girl Abby got a YouTube page too. All right, she does makeup. We're gonna do a really simple lip. You know, the dark brown liner. And we're gonna do a glitter gloss. My bottom lip is juicy. I messed that up, but whatever, we'll fix that. And before I even put anything on my lips, go like this to help blend it. Like, look at that. We need to put the gloss on. Like, yeah, my lips is looking right. Blend y'all's lip. Okay, so like, now, if you into that not blended look, I'm not really sure why. No offense. That's not my cup of tea. But if you're not, if you're into that bold lined lip, do that. Oh. Oh, yeah. This is our finished face. Now we're about to go get dressed. This is what we're going to wear today. I got this shirt from Hot Topic. It's the sweetener Ariana t-shirt. These jeans are from Shein. Got some accessories. Got some hair stuff. I got these in my last vlog. Um, it should be up by now. But if you have not watched that vlog, go watch that and see how we got the 90s. And these are the shoes. Just some regular shadow forces. Okay, y'all, this is the final look. Excuse my crimper and stuff on the ground. This is the final look. My brother did fix my anklet for me. You can't see, it's really dainty, but yeah. This is what it's given. And I really like it. I look really cute, I think. So this is the look. This is the look.